Welcome to RaiGurtko.com. In this video, we will talk about a very interesting topic about deep diving into fundamental aspects of Jira project management, creating epics, and epics are essential for organizing our work and breaking down complex project into manageable chunks. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notifications bell so you never miss our helpful content let's get started with best practices of using epic within our jira so before deep diving into the how let's understand the what and why of epics in jira an epic is a high level work item that represents a large task or project milestone it helps you to break down your project into smaller and more manageable pieces. So whenever we are opening any Jira projects, which contains this timeline and from here, you can see this is the epic. And whenever you will click on create, you will find it out. Issue type will have this epic icon. For creating this epic, you can simply click on create and from here, the epic will be created successfully. So this is how we can generate the epic name, summary, components, attachments, and other detail. So let's walk through the steps to create an epic in Jira. So there are multiple ways to create epic. Either we can click on create from here. Otherwise, we can also click a plus icon and from here, select the type of task and we can create the epic as per our name. Either we'll create the create epic options from here as well. So this is very easy to create epic. But creating epic is not having any challenges. However, to want to make this epic efficiently, once you are in the project, navigating into the epic sections or backlog here you will find the options to create a new epic we can also find from the scrum pages when we'll select any scrum pages from there we'll also have the epic options available to create it in backlog sections we also have the options to create it so there are multiple ways where we can create the epic first is creating from here, second is from the timeline, and third is from the backlog sections. So these are the way to create the epic. Let's understand how filling the epic details will help us to make this epic efficiently. When creating an epic, you will need to provide important details. These includes the epic name, a brief descriptions and any relevant labels or tags that help to categorize it. So here, let me add the epic name or summary name. You first will select the epic and from here, you have to define the epic name. So this is an epic. Now we have to also provide the detail summary. So I will just copy and paste it to here. After that, in description tab, we have to mention each and every epic detail. So to provide the epic detail, first, as a product owner, I want this, I want below task is to be completed. Now, let's say we, we want to build the feature of WhatsApp applications. So here, uh, I want to create the video and audio calling functionality. So let's consider calling where I will define audio and video. So which is much more relevant for any developer or tester to understand which calling functionality the product owner wants. So here definition of done if product owner is writing and process owner or scrum master is writing, they have to write a definition of done. It means developer sometimes with developer and QA. So once QA is done, that's the definition of done. 
which all parameters or applications or details are required let's say process owner or product owner is having project related documents or applic related documents they will attach it if any stats or summary report is available they can also attach it in the description tab after that we will see report sections so whoever is creating that name we will be identified LinkedIn issues if any issue is linked with this we can also add it assignee it's that should be assigned to force with the developer or the project owner so here we can define the priority so priority depending on the functionality of any applications or the contain where we can define highest high low and lowest after that we can tag with the label if there is any label available we can tag it or we can also create a new label for that next options in which paint product owner wants to be picked so we can tag with this and then we'll click on create and this epic will be created successfully which you can see the name of epic is andy 32 so now you'll we'll have all those options are available once the epic will be created we'll have several other options where we can link even you can add the attachments if you have any lingo we can also specify if you have any child issue item we can also add it so these all detail will help us or make this epic complete so whenever team will start picking they don't go here and there for asking the detail so here we can associate with child issues as well one of the key benefits of an epic is its ability to group related issues we can associate tasks stories and other items with an epic to show their connections so here we we can click on child issues will add either task story so i will add task here one item second for the demo point of view i'm just adding smaller team however you have to define the detail about child issues story and you can also tag if any defect is available for this app and you can here you can see child issue with the proper status so this is how we can create an app and associate any issue items within app next options is priority and assignee so priority even after creating you can adjust it let's say you want to make this priority as highest you can make it to highest prioritizations as a part of owner prioritization issues help your team focus on what matters most and assigning an owner ensures clear responsibility so whenever testing or development team will start anywhere they will reach out to the respective owner of an app if you have any additional comment you can also add the additional comments after that click on save and this will be save here i will just add save and you can see the comment is available so this is how we can make you all those informations or add the informations as well as comment details and attachments will be added within an app so following all those steps will help us to make this app clear or crystal clear and there you have it creating app in jira is it straightforward as that apics are essentials for managing large projects keeping your team organized and ensuring that every piece of work contributes to the big picture so if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow jira user let us know in the comments how you are using epic in your projects thank you for watching and stay tuned for more jira tips on raigurukul.com in addition to that i have already prepared one mastering in jira course which you can find it out from visiting raigurukul.rafi.com and this course is available in very least cost so here you can see the cost 
detail as well as course detail where by using this course content you will become a jira for the scrum master and project manager where you will get detail inside about jira course content that's all from this video thank you for watching